Good evening, chaps and chapettes. Frog here, and welcome back to Dino Crisis. Last time, well, shit got really, really weird. More so than normal, but unfortunately, as in case you might notice if you're watching these back to back, which of course I hope you are, because that'd be kind of cool, it'd be a case of uh, you notice I got the fingerprint reader last time, and I picked up the fingerprints from a dead researcher in order to get through to the laboratory lift, but apparently, to the computer, which does that sort of stuff, it asks for a code as well. Now, I basically went back, I saved, and I went back and forth pretty much everywhere trying to find where the hell this code was. And it's right here. Right here. See, look. Read it, and... Change personnel for Dr. Paul Baker, page number one, one, blah, blah, blah. Third energy stabilization experimentation room. Which sounds a hell of a lot like a laboratory to me. Registration number 58104. That's what I need to key in over here in order to get an actual useful ID card. Yeah, I would... Nope. Dur -dur -dur. It's an old game, you actually need to do shit manually. But why, considering this disc was originally a freaking kernels, why is he not allowed just to go everywhere? Um... Uh, do, 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 was it, uh, five, eight, uh, one, two, no, one, zero, four. E. Well, that's a very annoying sound effect. You know, there's a very, very good reason why in games you just simply pick up a new card or key or whatever in order to get to new places. Because this sort of stuff, same as with like Metal Gear Solid changing the temperature of those cards later on in the, later on in that game, it's just annoying. So now I should just be able to head straight back to the lifts. Let me go just across Titwear. So. Back in a sweet little dig. No, no, I think they're gone. Again, I'm still not sure how it governs what ra what raptors are there or not. Because again, I didn't rec didn't record it in the end. But frankly, that getting rid of those compies that you uh, we saw earlier used up all the ammunition just because they were small and annoying, as quite a lot of things tend to be. Sweet. Yes. Oh, come on. Well, I'm dead. No, no. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Oh, come. Where the hell do I go? Where the hell do I go? Oh, piss off. Yes, I would very much like to do this. Yeah, um, excuse me, Raptor, I need to suddenly go and enter in a password, please. Thank you very much. Wait, what? God, that answer. This is going to turn down the music on my, um, on my headphones, because I'm trying to think now, and I really don't need all that dramatic music in my ear. Okay, let's have a think. So they all need to make words. Wait, one second. Is it really that simple? It might actually be. Hell, that might be an A. One second. Lab. Is it really just laboratory? Okay. Okay, let's give that a try. That kind of makes sense. But Gordon Bennett, that's like having your password being password.
No, I didn't want that. Oof. Figuring out the password is easier than typing it in. Oh, you bastard. Go away. But they're annoying because the simple fact is that so you far so damn slow. Oh god damn it, there's another one. Right, okay, quick have a look see at the map. Uh straight ahead, okay. Oh, whoops. Is there more than one? Hmm. It. Can I actually see if I'm hitting him or not? Oh crap, there's two of them. Okay, killed the one on the right, you've taken the most hits so far. Wow. Okay, I realise they're probably not gifted with a great amount of brains, but seriously now. No, I don't want to... Oh, Bennett, they are soaking up the ammo. Oh, joyous. Uh, oh, I've got two SG bullets, so I'll try and get out righty. And of course, miss entirely. Bugger. No, uh, let's see. Is that the other one down? I think the other one's down. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's have to try the slag bullets. Or do I do that one? Oh, but I have no other ammunition, so I might as well just freaking shoot him with these. Wow, really? Might be it. Oh, good, is it? Wow, but damn. Okay, yeah, I realise I put it on normal, etc., etc. I'm not expecting an easy ride, but Gordon Bennett, I now have. Okay, I just have to just have to send the other ones to sleep that I encounter. Okay, Dick. Uh, was there another door there? Oh, no, there wasn't. So, yeah, let's try here. Libra. No, I can hear one in there. I think I'll try that later. Okay, let's have a look at all the other rooms first. Is anyone else with that little music, that little tinkly tinkly tinkle? Is anyone else reminded of the frickin' um, uh, guardhouse from Resi 1? Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. Please. What? Okay, so all other plugs need two, and now this is suddenly one which need all other plug all other boxes needed one plug. Now they need two. Okay, hopefully there might be another one in this next room. No, any gets. No, just some mood lighting. Okay. Hmm. Huh. What's this? Pretty many wanted to, blah blah blah. DDK has been upgraded. Oh, you need to be aware of the following information when entering the password. Number based key to code. In a case where numbers are written instead of numbers in key field, the number could indicate the columns to be deleted. Example is two is in the keyword, you should delete all of the second, second column of the code. So let me get this straight. They completely change with no warning, as far as I'm aware, how the freaking code lock system works. And then they put the explanation behind the first door you unlock with it. Okay, well, how the hell are you supposed to know that? I mean, I knew guests, I just literally just 
looked at the looked at it and just tried to find a word just moving from left to right and as soon as i found lab i kind of thought give it a try and lo and behold it was speaking of which what's this computer experimental area control program running auto lock status on will you release the lock um Hmm. Let's have a think now. Ah, uh, screw it. Enter the area number to be... Ah. Okay, maybe not yet. Or well, maybe you do, because quite often this game just expects you to remember the codes you're looking at. Simulation being run on supercomputer. Do, 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 do. Okay, so apparently Windows 98 is what this program's running on. Oh. I'll go, oh good, so now I've got two plugs, so I can open that plug, open that a box that's outside. Wait, is this the way out? No, no, it's not. That's the way forward. So I'll just very quickly oh ah. I see toolbox. Screwdriver. Okie doke. I'm getting more and more bits and bobs all the time. Do I know? Warning, do not lose this panel unless the lock system malfunctions. So I side the same Oh, okay, I see. So I find the code, turn it off, then use the screwdriver over here. Okay, fair enough. But wait, wait, was that a cupboard? That looked vaguely, vaguely cupboardy. Nope. Apparently not. Okay, let's quickly run back around and grab that box because I need ammunition badly. Oh. Speaking of badly, how are we doing? No, no. We're okay for time. We've got a little bit left. Yes, I would like to overwrite the data, thank you very much. Yes, save complete. Those raptors respawned, I am dead. Can't hear them. Hey, what have I got here? 40 bullets for the handgun, more slag bullets, SG bullets, and a poison dart. Okay, I see. So that's how you do it. It's a little bit annoying, frankly. So if I grab, swap the slag bullets around, grab some of the forties, and get some SG bullets because the poison darts are good. But I've only found two so far. Frankly, should probably save them. Again, I'm, I say I'm saving them, but then again, I've no. Where did I put the last poison dart? Which colour box did I put it in? I've no idea. See, look at Regina's face there in the corner. She's just like, I am so screwed, and not in the good way. I think for the moment I'll keep with my um, knockout darts. At the very least, if I'm in a situation where I can't avoid the gits, I can at least knock them down, shoot them a couple of times, knock them down again, and rinse, repeat. Because again, survival horror, yeah, you should be saving your ammunition, but again, if you don't know when for, you end up scrimping throughout the entire thing and winding up facing the final boss who is immune to all of the ammunition you've... Eh, why not? Who's immune to all the ammunition you've saved up so far, and lo and behold, the only weapon which can hurt them is the one which you picked up five minutes ago, the BFG up your mother, or whatever the hell it's called. Yes, yes. No, no, I don't want to... Ugh. Careful with your button presses, Rog. This is old games. Could make things go very badly indeed. Okay, there's a Hime. Ah. Hmm. What's he doing there? Sounds like he's hitting a... Sounds like he's around the corner. Okay. Yeah, let's have a little shifty in here. Another good thing about auto aims. And if you twitch even slightly, you know something's in it. What have we got here? Ah, DDK input disc E. So how are we doing for... Okay, so we got both the E's now. Did I use the L's? Oh yeah, use the L's on that freaking code lock. Okay, fine. Uh, let's see. What have... Oh, you got a glowing thing. Here, yeah, terminal controls the condition of the experiment room remotely. Something is shown on the display. Ah, lock code 7248. 
Okay, I'll try and remember that one. Like I said, I managed to luck out with that other one beforehand. I must have just... I must have played this before, like... Eons ago. But like I said, I really can't remember it. So why the hell that one code stuck in my brain is... Slightly disconcerting, actually. Adding another gas to one with a poison level under 30 may neutralise... Red gas neutralise the poison and green gas... Ah, oh, Piss. Ah, joy. I'm going to have to do a chemical experiment under duress, aren't I? And that's going to be my only clue. Research the channel. Yes, why not? Third energy. It is a system that can produce infinite energy from the air. The completion of the system will signify the end of one of society's greatest problems. It is true the system was initially developed for military use, but we took part in the project because there is a silver lining in it for our future. But something is terribly wrong. The military has given us excessively favourable treatment for the simple development of a fundamental energy system. I must discover the true nature of this project before irreparable harm is done. What on earth is that kid planning to do? April. I haven't found any clues in the past month. He is indeed a genius. He seems to have noticed our secret investigation activities. I heard he established a secret lab on this floor somewhere. As you do. The only way to learn of his true intentions will be to find that lab. July, at long last, Mike has found a clue pertaining to the location of the secret laboratory. He said he hid the clue in our secret place inside the library room. Aha. So where's the clue? Kirk has been meeting frequently with Colonel Clay, the leader of the project in the computer room lately. What are they up to? Well, I'm guessing it's dinosaurs. Just, you know, a shot in the dark, which I'm presuming is what they did to themselves before the dinos ate them. Right, so now where? Let's see, can I get through this door? Actually, can I push this shelf? Oh, no, I can just... Uh, should I have been searching all those shelves before? And, uh, again, going back to my point again with this... When you render everything in the exact same level of graphics, if there's something which you can pick up, it needs to be made obvious. Because otherwise people are just going to not run by. Make sure not to lock the door during experiments, okay? The door is locked, there doesn't appear to be any place to set a key. Ah, I'm guessing that code, uh, let's see, 7248. Let me guess. Okie doke. I'm going to try heading back. Okay, good, he's still being stupid over there. 7248, 7248, 7777, 7248. So in the computer room. Now, just run around here. This should be 7248. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I would. A 7248. Hey. Numbers being confirmed. The gas experiment room lock has been released. So I'm guessing that was that room back there. Hmm. I have a feeling something's going to go bad with that. Oh, damn, not memory slot one. Memory slot two. Don't have enough free blocks. Cause it, what was that? Each kit, each block, each block was like, what was it? Ten kilobytes or something? Oh, no, not that one. Ten kilobytes or something ancient, and now running it. Oh my! Was it? A, is it five hundred gig or a terabyte? I can't remember what's. Living in my PS3 these days. There's one or tether. Okay. Is he paying any attention to me? No, I hope he's not. So now I should be able to get through that door at the back. Yeah, this this is this is more manageable rather than okay, you might need to go to another end of the base. Ah. Seven two four eight. So can I just go through? Yes I can. Oh. Okay, let's see. Oh no, this is the gas. There was something on that notice board, wasn't there, about the gases neutralising each other. Yeah, it was here, wasn't it? There it is. Early May neutralise the gas, okay. So red... Red kills green, blue kills orange, green kills purple. Okay, it seems mildly simple enough. But let me guess, I'm gonna gonna press something in here and some poor sod's gonna die. Oh, 
Speaking of sample sod, hello. Let's see, what are these? Gas or something. Can I just go in? Filled with poisonous gas. And... He's been filled with poisonous gas, isn't he dead already? Huh. Okay, so I need to get it under 30. Okay, so let's see. It's kind of yellow, so is that red? Oh crap, no it's not. Um, okay, uh, green? Okay, that's better. Oh crap, which one was yellow? Okay, I think it was blue, wasn't it? No. Okay. I see. This is starting to remind me of those. Free, and again, the puzzles from Resi. Again, I know it's remind me of the puzzles from Resi because it's made by the same people. But this is exactly like some of those, like the steam level one, the, the power one from um, Resi Two, the one in the basement. Uh, I think it was blue, wasn't it? No. Damn it. Uh, see, can I reset it? I think I screwed it up. Okay, so let's see, what kills blue? Okay. Is it green that kills blue? Hey! It's more like it, right. Hello you, I saved your life. Give me all your shit. They kind of poison him several times though, so I suspect he's probably still quite dead. What's up? Gonna be okay. What happened? That fool. Oh, need to turn it back up. What are you planning, Kirk? I'm here with the rescue team. Where is Dr. Kirk? The Enterprise. I don't flick him, though. Here. This will give you access to his personal lab. I don't know what a personal ugh is, but I must just prefer he lives over here. Go shoot him in the face. Yeah. Three six nine five. Okay, I wonder what that's for. Hmm. Don't know what the B one key chip could be for. Oh what? Too bad, um, Dave. You will be sorely missed. Have you got anything I can steal from you? Oh, you have. A small size. Oh, that can open up the stuff in the medical room. Okay, that'd be handy if I ever get back there, but. Again, I've gone from being wounded but with shed loads of ammunition to being fine with next. Actually, no. I picked up all those bullets, Rog. Yes. So you should be fine. Oh god, damn it! Am I going to get mullered again? Yes, of course I am. Yes, yes, danger, danger, danger. Poison the thing. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, that was far too satisfying. Well, like I said, that was rather satisfying. That seems like a good point to end this particular episode, so... Thank you all very much for watching indeed. Have a little look-see down below, see if there's anything else I've done which takes your fancy. If so, have a look-see. By all means, by all means, my friends. And as always, people, please be wonderful to each other. Good night.